Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome back to Ostrov and the, the site of the wheat confusion last episode. So this guy stopped making wheat and this worker just sat here showing he was working, but he wasn't actually working because I hadn't realized that we're out of wheat. We're starting to bring it in now with this harvest. So I went ahead and threw in a slot there for another worker to jump back in, but that's what that was all about. We have two fields of wheat, right? Um, well, that's wheat there, and that is there, so there should be plenty to keep them going for this season. All right, um, what else is happening over here? Let me turn the speed up, though. Let's do check. Nothing is waiting for us here. Okay, so I threw in five openings so we can make sure that all three boats keep being used as much as possible until the end of November, bring in a few more fish for the year. And then we'll put these guys back into the labor force and see if we can't get as many of these buildings put in as possible. And mostly the goal right now is just getting us ready for patch 5. Hoping that this game save will talk to patch 5 so we can immediately dive into chickens. We've got a messenger popping in. Let's take you down a notch in speed. Right over here and you want sunflower oil and sunflower seeds. And we don't have either to give you, I don't think. Don't want to buy hemp or wheat either. So we'll keep our money. All right, let's just verify that we... Sunflower oil. Do you see it there? Because I don't. We're that low. Wow. Okay. What is sitting in... <clears throat> I guess in these. Right there. Nothing. And here? Nothing. We are out of sunflower oil completely. Hmm, uh, where they make it? Nothing. Okay, and over here, sunflower oil? Nothing. So we are completely out, and we're going to be out for a while because we didn't process any, process any this year. Unfortunately, so that is off the menu right now. I'm assuming that they'll use that as a uh, you know, oil for cooking. All right, where are we now? Middle of November, we're, all of our harvest is in. We're picking up the last of the crops. Got four guys working out over here. Cowshed has one laborer bringing clay over. And probably right there. So, where are we? We're putting up... Oops. Right there. Putting up masonry walls with the clay. Just looking at that right there. Do you remember what that looked like? Were there windows at this point? Curious to see how that builds. If that... Uh, that builds the lower half and the upper half. Huh, curious to see how that works. I got two workers on their way. And what did he just do? He's okay, the lower half of the wall and the upper half of the wall. Interesting. Okay. I don't think I'd noticed that before. They always seem to build a whole wall at once, I thought. What's the tapping? Right here. Ah, we're working on the warehouse. Okay, that's right, warehouse. I made a note for myself. This one over here, she is spending forever bringing one-tenth firewood over and over again. So I'm going to pull firewood out of this one. That's not something that's going to function. I wanted to get 500 and 500 and whatever into, into each of these. Whoa, iron is down that low. Take me over to here. We still have five iron over here. So, we're still good on iron for a while, but yeah, that's that uh, was a surprise. So, yeah, well, she'll be able to start bringing larger quantities over now. Let's flag her and show path. And yeah, she's carrying five boards at a time now. Good. So, that's going to clear that out, which means I can get two more guys in here. So, each time that I had hired them to get to work in here and then left them here is because I thought she was going to clear out all this wood real quick. Because she's capable of moving this quite fast into there. I didn't realize that the firewood was really bogging it down. So firewood in a warehouse almost has to be by itself. One person doing absolutely nothing but moving firewood. And the whole point of that is to keep these folks from having to walk all the way into there to get firewood. So, and also in that case to just keep emptying this out so they can keep making more. But it would make sense to have firewood storage maybe out over here or out over there and uh, limit their trips. But it wasn't working for what I was wanting it to do. Is there anything else that could go in there instead? I guess I could think about that. 
Um, we could put in a thatch category just to get some reserve built up and give a worker in here the, the chance to uh, uh, get ahead of the curve there. We could do something like that. 20, let's put in 50. Yeah, we'll do that. And that means eventually we'll turn this back on. He's down to four thatch anyway, though we had thatch sitting over here, right? There's still 14 in here from when we used to store it there. So we still have quite a few. Um, take from the warehouse. That is checked. So there he is. She's, she's grabbing thatch from there right now. Where There she is. Heading across and drop it in. And then, yep, she got a thatch in her hand. All right, so cow shed bringing over wood gonna work in this area now and this warehouse uh, turn off these guys fishing dock all right that's all turned off we have 10 fish in there to haul into the uh, eventually the granary you are turned on so just a matter of getting you to it and it'd be nice to get this one in we got the carpentry already, so we could very well get plows for this next season. Hmm. Well, it's top of the queue. It's fairly centrally located, so I'll just leave it right there. I won't. I was going to pause everything else to make sure it gets done first, but it's going to get done. I don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, who's laboring over here right now? Let's turn off men laborers and get this done with women and make sure that the guys are out there doing as many construction projects as possible. Otherwise, long-term plans for this town. I think we're talking about a farm out here and a farm over here. Uh, it'd be nice to get sunflower production going on a more long-term you know, scale, or a larger scale, so that we've always got uh, sunflower oil available to trade with these guys when that comes up. But... I'm hesitant to get too much further into this till I see what's involved with the chickens. And if it maybe even a new crop shows up just for them, I don't know. Don't know what all the plans are. So we might be doing something entirely different at that point. Don't know. One worker. And there he's working. Putting in the roof. Okay. And what? I'm putting on the trim boards and the ends. Okay. And I see we're a thatched roof. So putting all the, the cross bracing in. Okay. The little park area here has really grown up. I'm just wondering where else we want to put some more of those. I have a void over here that could use some trees. I can't think of anything else that would work well over there. Uh, small building. Like that might. What is our smaller buildings? Um, we got over here or something. That is the shoemaker. Is there any way to get leather in here? Not really. We do it. We do have textile in here. Where? What was that? That was this one. Let's get one worker in there and get uh, get started filling this up. And one female worker. And no laborers. Okay. And with that, yeah, we could, if these guys show up in time, do we want to force that to happen? We're in December. Hmm. Let's wait till January. Let's see if there's a chance that they'll do it on their own. That was the well. Good. That's in. And that will that'll help her out, too. All right. One hay's going in. Auto save. We're now putting in this one. Hmm. Okay, I was thinking about this. The shoemaker. What size is the shoemaker? Where are you at? Right there. I know you're a little building, but I still wonder if you're too uh, too big for this area. Let's spin you around like so. Not going to go in there. This way. Not going to go in there. Okay. So this one could just be trees. And maybe some more park benches. I guess that's kind of just what you do with it, with the little voids. Otherwise, we got an archway. Um, fencing? Not really. So, bench where? Let's spin you into here. But we don't have to go up against fences all the time. Could just do something 
like that. And let's put you in that area. And then trees. We had cottonwood and birch in there, I think. Let's do something a little different. What was the other one? Pine and ash. All right, let's put a, an ash or two or three around there. And a few more of the evergreens. So we are pine. Right in there. A couple more in there. And then... Let's see. Birch. Birch just kind of randomly... Well, both sides of the bench look good. And then just a couple of random trees in there. Okay. So another little park setting. Eventually, it'd be nice to have trees all through this area. We'll see how that all lays out. All right, I went through these before I started up, and they seem like they're going to function well for the year. So we'll leave that alone. What was that last one? Wasn't paying attention. What's missing in the queue? This guy's still being worked on. Hmm. I don't know. I'll know when I go back to edit it. Oh, it was this one. All right. So over here, we want wheat brought in and probably flour. Is flour a thing? Flour is probably not a thing. That's more of the uh, the granary. Hmm. Okay. So wheat, we'll bring 50 in there and we'll hire... Hmm. Let's see what she care What... Uh, I think she carries them in whole units. Let's have a lady in here. I think wheat was switched over to whole units. I'm hoping next time that um, firewood is going to be switched over to whole units too. They should bring whole units into here and then into the stalls and then sell 10th units from the stalls. But carrying 10th units all over the town, that's that's a bit too much. Um, so we got these types, these two going on and we're in the middle of January. Waiting to see, yeah, whole, whole wheat, good. Um, let's go ahead and initiate this. In fact, let's slow it back down to one. That take? Yeah. And send out, since it's only 30, let's go ahead and send a messenger. And go ahead and get cows going. Now, can I put a very small cow, what do we call it here? Um, why am I not seeing it? Add pasture. I expected some words there. What is the smallest pasture that I can add? If I were to actually attach to you, hmm, can't do that. So my closest spot is about there. And then something like there. And then if I were to rotate you, uh, just out of curiosity, it still says too small. Okay, so we can't use this space here for the cows. That's unfortunate. Um, Hmm, I think we're back over here and in. Something like this. Enter it from the side. I suppose we could touch here. Is it going to allow me to? If I were to just do something like this and pull across and then R over, it will allow me to. Okay. Uh, one more. So, how far this way? And did we actually grab well right there? Ah, there. Yep, it seems to uh, have snapped well. Okay, 10 should be enough. And this kind of looks like an area that livestock would actually live under. So thematically, that looks pretty good. Now, output of 10. I don't know if that has anything to do with cattle. Is that output of 10 bushels, 10 cartloads? Wish I knew what that meant. Actually, a cart will handle two buckets or two bushel buckets. I wonder if a cart is what these quantities are. That's interesting. And how does that compare to a cow? Well, we're going to go with 10. And we'll just see how that works. And so that is now associated with that one. We can verify that. Uh, it's associated to the cow shed. We can assign to other and choose the cow shed and kind of verify it. Cow shed assigned. Meaning we could put another cow shed right here and have another pasture somewhere else or set it to fallow. Well, I'm kind of wanting to keep it separate from the agriculture this time and see if we get any stuck cows as, as a result. 
So we'll, we'll live with that for now. So that one's up and running, and we have a lady working there. We have four hay, four water. We are set and ready, and I didn't see if that ever came up. Did we? We're halfway there. Okay. We have a horse running backwards. You get over to Balaklia. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so we got some trees over in there. What else is going to happen here? Town Hall was going to go in. That's right. So, and I was thinking about getting some more benches around. I did that, right? That's down in here. Yeah, one, two. That's enough. And we got some trees planted. And I was thinking about throwing a tree in this corner when I was editing that. So these were, look like cottonwood. What's the birch look like? That's the birch. So that would be the cottonwood. So let's put one more in. Cottonwood right there. Let's put you in this corner as far as it will let me. Right there. Okay. And this can go away. Demolish. This can go away. Hmm. You can't put the campfire back. You can't. Let's leave it there. Make that decision later in case I decide to build a park or something around that. I was thinking of centering the town hall here, but it could kick in a little bit. It could be kind of in this area and do something else around there. We've got a natural hill right uh get my fingers in the right buttons right here so there could be houses here overlooking this area maybe huh let's think about that first uh house let's see what fits where they do fit maybe two houses how far can i go i can get to there so if we put a few houses in here then i'd want the town hall to be more in this area all right let's see town hall that's right there Okay, that works. Facing where? Facing the main road? Facing this little area? Hmm. It's going to feel kind of random until we fill in around it. Alright, you're going to go there. Don't necessarily have to build you right now, though. I'd like to get some more housing in first. You are... Okay, three clicks it takes. Continue you. And these guys are over here. This one is him. So let's see. Yeah, let's turn this one on. What are you now? You're the shoemaker. You know, let's get the slaughterhouse going too. Let's turn you on. And then slaughterhouse and shoemaker. Oh no, tannery. There's quite a few steps in there. I would love to get uh, shoes being made really quick. Got quite a few houses in this area. Maybe. Yeah, cow shed, cow pasture, and slaughter at this point. I'll draw them right out of the pasture. There's a messenger. Slaughter here, and tannery, and then shoemaker is actually over there. I'm tempted to move that one. Let's demolish that one. And continue. Let's put that in this area somewhere. But let's bring in cows. Do we want iron at this point? Let's go ahead and grab just two. I doubt we're going to need them for quite some time, but let's do that. Then let's buy cows, two oxen. Um, right there, oxen. Tempted to do this kind of separate. Let's do a few individual things. So two oxen are coming. And then, let's bring in two bowls. And then, one more time, let's bring in... Hmm... Ten cows? Let's bring in ten cows. Ten cows, two bowls, two oxen. That should work out fine, though I'm just curious if I want to get more oxen available sooner in case we throw up another farm building soon. Ah, we'll make that decision then. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So all these guys are on their way in. There's a whole wagon train coming. And we can handle all that. Spring is coming. Or, well, not coming as soon as I thought. It seemed, I don't know, yellower. Like, yeah, this looks a little different to me. I guess being in this screen for so long, my eyes readjusted. All right. 
What were we doing? I don't know. Townhouse. Oh, we were thinking about cattle. Cows coming in. And I do want to buy cattle for the purpose of slaughtering and making shoes to sell to our own people. As well as, uh, as, as trading out. So that seems like a good economic engine for the town so got a nice curve going on here probably wanting to continue that can I get another one in there I don't know if I can that clay may have may have gotten in the way let's spin you around to match and see if I hold the alt well it's hard to hold the alt and do these other buttons actually that's pretty good right there okay so grab you and then what one one, two, three. Let's sneak you into there. It does fit. Okay. So let me zoom in here, kind of line myself up and get closer. Can I? Actually, that's pretty good there. I was going to say get to a true. Um, where is that to this? Yeah, one more click around. Like that lines us up pretty good to there. So that gets us back to, I want to say a 90 or what have you, but I don't think we can then snap here. I think we're one click too many. So back R, yeah, that's as close as we can get. Okay, so to continue the curve, it's right about, well, let me get above it a little bit. I want to make the house parallel to the front fence, which is close to there. Go till I touch. We don't have to sneak into that space, do we? Well, give it the benefit of the doubt. Well, let's see if someone wants to walk through there and just shorten their trip a little bit. Can I back up a touch? I can. All right, we'll go there. And that one probably should be one of the houses we'll work on soon. Now, in this area, um, trading comes from here, so we'll see them come in. All right, so cattle. And then slaughterhouse is in here. Be shaped like what? Slaughter right there. So slaughterhouse in there. And we've got the tannery in this area. And we've got shoemaker in this area. Shoemaker could be right over there. Uh, slaughterhouse could be like over here. Facing this way. So like that. That looks fairly parallel. I guess if I touch it, yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'd say a road in between. Though not necessarily. Just do a thin road. Doesn't have to be quite as big as this one over here. So that one's there. And we'll pause that one. Another autosave. I think my autosave is set for quite, uh, quite low. Um, pause. And what is the other one? Tannery. Taylor. Thatch. Henry. He's the bigger building. Okay. Entrance is on the end, right? Right there. How best? Actually, right there. That works out. So, okay. Slaughter. So we're going to need a place to pick up the hides. No, we don't need to pick up the hides. We just need to... He can grab heights from right here, so close. We don't need a warehouse for that. Um, hmm, a warehouse where the shoes are going to be made would be good. And you've got kind of a porch over the top of you. I cannot get you parallel to that. That's bugging me. Right there. It's off by quite a bit, too. That's probably the closest it's going to get, so we'll go with that. And right up against? I think so. Yep, that looks pretty good. All right, pull them out of here, slaughter them. Meat's going to take off to the granary or to the stalls. And hides are going to go right across to here, be turned into leather. So if we had a warehouse grabbing the leather and storing it, then a shoemaker right over here would just easily go across and get it. Okay. Maybe go ahead and continue working with this road over here. Too bad you can't do this, but there's no easy pathway to get to you from back here. And you're busy with textile and all the rest. And why have we not picked up any textile? This got employed. Taylor's Workshop. 
textile point five. We've got no hemp. Um, okay, let, hemp making textile. Textile to make clothes. Okay. So why is she not... Okay, what's going on here? We have lots of hemp. We have no textile. You guys are making textile very, very slowly. Ah, let's do that for a while. Let's get the textile built up. We have a lot of hemp in town. 30 hemp. Are we... There they are. I'm thinking it was about time. I'm running at one speed. That's why. Okay. So we've got the iron coming in. We've got the oxen coming in. We've got the bulls coming in. And we've got all of the cattle coming in. Cool. All the cows. All right. So a warehouse and a shoemaker needs to be right in here somewhere. That's the plan. But let's watch all this arrive. Uh, we do need a worker over here or two. Let's do that. And what's the chance somebody's actually going to do the job? All right. You're all excited about all of this construction, and I thank you so much, but let's get somebody excited about unloading some iron before they freak out and leave us. You do. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> well, let's see what happens then. Nobody's here. Ah, there we got a worker. And soon he'll be running in there, and he didn't get there in time. Oh, these guys, I tell ya. Okay, well, I'm not going to hold you in here to do nothing. We got no potatoes last year, and we have no sunflower oil, so we have nothing to sell. There's no point in hiring somebody to sit here for who knows how long till it happens again. Just next time, we'll have to hire that person much sooner. Okay, so we're into February. All the cattle arrived, so you're sitting over here quite a few of you and let's get you order a plow plow ordered somebody is working here they are and we should see that where are you show path you're in there right do that again you're on your way to get the oxen there's one right there okay you're doing that we might have it done in time. We'll have to wait and see. The wood's already there. It's already 30 wood. So he just has to get the two oxen over there and start building. So there's a possibility. He'll also have to take two weeks off for the month. So, you know, it's just a possibility. Not a probability. <laughs> okay, so I want a warehouse. Where at? They're going to grab from here. Let's put the shoemaker in first. You're a little guy right there and we'll curve you around to kind of blend into where I'd like to go into here but that really kind of gets into that pathway if I had had you this way hmm otherwise we're going to have to kick back quite a ways to make this work what's the warehouse look like How does he blend into this? He's even harder. He's got to be over here more. Something like that. I will try that. Now, okay, the flags are out here, but the building line cuts in over there, and actually it looked like it was closer to there. Messenger from, and you're the one that only has sunflower oil, so it doesn't do us any good again. Anyway, back to... Oh, pause. I didn't re-establish these guys. Uh, okay, you don't need you yet. Pause. I do want these houses in. Right over here. I want this one in. And, oh, there's so many times i got to click to make these work. There we are. And you? Yeah, we'll do you too. Okay, so you guys just have a ball. Get these houses built. And we'll leave these turned off for now. Where was I? I was the shoemaker. I was hearing all that tapping, and it just felt like it was in the wrong place. So I'll spin you around to here. That looks pretty good right there. Yeah, we're off by the same amount no matter what I do. Yep, close enough. So that puts you here. It's going to look odd. 
We went here. I kind of like that better. Parallel, we're looking good. Close as I can touch is there. If we go to there. All right, we'll do that. So that was the front door over here. So I walk out of here, go into there. You can kind of walk between the buildings, get through all these paths. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Shoemaker would be the last one to build, though. So pause you. And what are you now? Uh, tannery. Warehouse. Slaughter. So you're the next one to go in. You are the town hall. You're one of the last ones. Don't really need to adjust wages and whatnot, so not that important. You, and you, and then you. And actually, the warehouse is the least important of all those. Speaking of warehouse, how's this one operating? We've got 11 wheat in here now, so this guy is doing fine. We should have flour back into the market stalls. How is our budget doing? Last year, we gained. Well, you look at that. Boy, last map we were losing 500 a year. Interesting. What's the difference? Other than just I'm being really stingy on uh, who I'm allowing to be hired. Hmm. Now, I was trying to keep people from moving out, so I was keeping them employed all winter long doing various things. Oh, we have a plow, which means we do need at least one, well, two workers in here at all times. Well, one for the winter, but... It's nice to have two when the plowing season starts because one is going to take a week off. We know that. So, in fact, maybe... Hmm. We'll leave it at this for now. Thaw is just starting. So spring is almost here. Over here, we're doing fine with the supplies. And... Didn't have enough room to even get this one emptied. So... No problem, though. We're having a hard time keeping workers in. Hmm, and that one is important that it always stays hired. So I am going to up that one notch. Make sure that one doesn't empty when they come over here to start working on the fields. Which, we had gotten rid of of women, or men at the time. I think I need to bring them back in for, uh, for the crop. Okay. Anyway, uh, granary is getting close. Good. We're about halfway. And this house is this one over here. That's good. In fact, yeah, we'd like, love to get that one going uh, during the uh, during the sowing season, but I don't think it'll get done in time. All right, back to speed three. At least till we get into February or into March, and we'll see how this fills out. Um, there, I'm gonna just say no thank you to you. And you're persistent. Oh, well, I'll leave you. Oh, you got offended, but you came back. <laughs> Just want to make sure that somebody is here. You went home, or maybe you were getting something. I want to make sure someone jumps onto that plow and does the next field. Great. Otherwise, I need people planting. Come on, guys. We're ready. Field two. Wheat. Let's do it. There you go. No, you're in grabbing supplies. Hmm. Give you a little more time. We do have 110% of wages for the laborers. I really thought that would fill in quickly. It is not. Well, we'll go that route then. See if that helps out. You jumping on that one. Okay. Oh, you're probably the manager. I thought saw another person jump into there. Okay, well, we'll go this route then. That was what was that one? House? Maybe. Thought there were houses and two other buildings queued up. What was the other you know, production building of some kind? Hmm. I'm a little concerned about this right now, so let's just pause these guys for the for the season and make sure somebody moved in okay must have been a house anyway now we're starting to work okay let's get all the stuff sewed we're going through here 
and that's all queued up so someone's already started here they're gonna run in they're gonna get their orders and they're gonna pile out over here and looks like by first week of April we should be done in here two fields are fallow this year one pretty low yeah and although the plowing would have probably brought that back so now the plow is, is active oh we have another one okay now the plow is active I need to think about reordering this adding in the 15 percent per you know in between each one of these crops so we can get more out of these before we follow them now having a fallow field isn't as important because we're not using the the uh, fallow fields for the cattle okay so that's all taken care of and well I'll, I'll hang on to this for just a little bit longer we're in the first week of april i want to eliminate all but one worker for taking care of the oxen yeah, I think we're already good for that. So let's take you guys all down, and laborers will finish this off, and we're good. All right, open you guys back up again there. Uh, fishing needs to get opened up again, though just the three. We've still got a lot of fish in stock. We can't sell it, so it's just what we're going to use here in town. So there's no point in having a... Boy, click, click, click. There we go. No point in having a huge surplus in fish. You compared to you. Let's take it you in first. Take you back to there. Let's get the slaughterhouse in next. And after that, there we go. The tannery. And then shoes. And then another house. Try that one again. There we go. Alright, so we are completed there and we're starting to grow. Growth over here has already started. We can start just barely see the, the green starting to pop in there. Then I want to do some more decorating, but it's not something I can I can concentrate on, especially when I'm running at uh, high speed over here and wondering what's happening around me. It kind of stresses me out a bit. So maybe I'll do some of that off camera and show you what I did when I when I get back to it. But let's put in. Put in maybe a guy and a, a lady. See who naturally fills into here. Who do we want? What do we want? What do we not want? Hmm. The guy can use a cart. That's one thing I'm considering. Reserve one wood and two nails. What am I not getting there? That's interesting. I don't want to lose two guys to this, though. Last time we had... Uh, Actually, let's let's do something different. Let's just say women only, and we'll do laborers men, and we'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, something like that. Reserved one wood to nail. Don't know. That looks like maybe a a glitch. I have to wait. I'm, I'm, my first thought was that the first guy still had these on him when he was finishing another job construction and got hired as a granary but that doesn't make sense i got a sense this is going to be stuck here for the rest of this map not sure but that looks like an error all right um anything else we need to squeeze into this episode i was thinking it'd be nice to get another house or two out here your entrance is right here and that does overlap at that point Maybe, hmm, the farm's going to go over here. Where else should we put more housing long term? We have a lot of a lot of people available for the jobs in this area. We have a lot of people available for the jobs in this area. So it seems like this area needs to get done. And we do have these three queued up. Kind of a long distance to get into here to help out, though. Hmm, well, I'll have to think about that. Um, glance at my notes here. Got the wheat sorted out. Uh, firewood out of the out of that warehouse. I think we're good to go for next time. We got all these queued up, and let's we'll see what we can get accomplished. So cattle are in. Let's see if we can get shoes working possibly next time. Slow you back down to one and hit pause. And this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.